Hi guys, today I'm in a scarf because it decided to snow this morning, so let's roll with it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do blackout poetry or found poetry. I've heard it called both things, but I learned how to do this type of poetry when I was in high school. and It's so much fun, you guys should try it, and um, it's a little bit less intimidating than just writing poetry completely on your own. I'll explain why. So this is blackout poetry. All you have to do is find something that's already written, like a book or a newspaper or really anything, a textbook, and you black out words with a color pencil or a marker, and then you specifically select words that you want to keep that create your poem. It's very simple, kind of self-explanatory, but I was going to just give you some tips on how to do this. In my opinion, it's the most fun to go out and get a book at a thrift store, because that way you can kind of make it a journal of found poetry or blackout poetry. You can do different pages. I just came up with this idea. I just thought of this. Wouldn't it be fun if you bought a book to do blackout poetry in and every time you had a guest they could each have a page and do whatever they want on it? The first step you need to do is go get something to write on. Uh, I have used a newspaper before but I find that fiction books are the best because they have the most descriptive words. It kind of depends on what your style is but I like using a lot of adjectives and um, just more fun words. So when I went to the thrift store, uh, I almost bought a mathematics book, but I was like, I don't think that's going to work for what I'm doing. So maybe not something like that. I also wouldn't recommend getting a book of poetry because that's extremely difficult to create a poem out of somebody else's poem and not make it too similar. Uh, this way, this was never intended to be a poem, and then you can completely create it out of almost nothing. So there are a few ways that you can do it. I just flip through and pick any random page and I start reading. And the moment I find a word that I find interesting, or a phrase that I find interesting, or like a couple of words, I write it down in my notebook and I just start to make a list of words. So after you write down all of your favorite words from that page, uh, you can start to kind of see if there's like something similar, a theme between all the words, or a way that you can string them together as sentences or phrases. Because it's poetry, they don't have to be full sentences. So you don't have to worry about that. I also usually have a tone or like a mood that I'm going for. Uh, so maybe if I'm sad, I circle words that are kind of more sad sounding or melancholy. And if I'm happy, I might circle silly words or fun words. So this is one way you can do it. I literally just colored out all the words and then put a box around all the phrases that I wanted to leave. Another way you can do it is you can get really fun with it. You can do like a drawing that is associated with a poem. So this poem ended up being, from this whole page, I only circled a couple of words, and uh, it ended up being, smile, do not worry, go and party. So there it is, and so I drew a smile to go along with the poem, and I just used colored pencils. I literally made a list of like probably 20 or 25 words that I liked, and then I narrowed it down to something that made sense that I liked. And as you make that list of words that you like in your, in your separate notebook, uh, make sure to do like a little tick mark or something with a pencil by the words because they will get lost when you go back to find them. Uh, and then I just started by circling each of these words and phrases and and then I just started doodling and doing whatever I want. I did not plan this out at all, which I think is more fun. So you should try doing it that way. And if you don't like drawing, like I said, and you just like writing or poetry, or you just want to try something simpler, you can do the other form that I did, like this. The book that I picked out from the thrift store is called The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie. And I liked it mostly because the pages, I don't know if you can see, but they're like rough edges. And I don't know, it was just fun paper to, to color on. And I think I'm going to make this like a found poetry journal. And I'm going to do all different types of poems. I did a very sad one earlier in the book, uh, but it's just kind of like random what you find on a page. If you don't go at it with a certain mood that you want to do, if you just kind of see what kinds of words are on the page. I am afraid of middle age and married life. So some of them are funny and some of them are very serious. Just kind of depends. I don't know. I like it because you have no idea where it's going to go. And you wouldn't believe the cool little phrases you can find within a pre-written story. I have found that colored pencils work really well because I kind of like that you can still see through to the page and see the words, but it still highlights the words in your poem. Because you can use paint. I've seen people do that before, which is also really cool, paint or ink. Um, but it covers up the words completely. You kind of lose the texture of... Uh, the pre-written page. So I use colored pencils and also I like to highlight things with just some darker pens. Um, so I circled my phrases with pens and then I outlined my drawings with the pens as well. So I have a challenge for you guys. I would like you to go out and get 
a book at a thrift store or a newspaper or something and make your own found poetry and then tweet it to me and I'm going to pick my favorite. And my favorite one, I'm going to send you, I'm going to rip this page out and I'm going to send it to you. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, go follow me right now. And then once you come up with your poem, I'll give it like uh, a week or so. Well, let's do a week. And then you guys send me a photo of your found poetry or blackout poetry. And I'll pick my favorite and I'll send you mine. I think that would be fun. So that is it. I hope you liked my little how to do found poetry. And I hope you find it helpful when creating your own. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I try to do one every week, but that doesn't always happen. I look forward to reading all of your poems, and I will see you guys next week. My mom does it too. She calls it fancy water, I think. Uh, but it's really good. Maybe that's obvious to some people, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. And it actually seriously tastes like I'm drinking orange-flavored water. Or, I think these are clementines. Or, uh...